Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasa at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email inquiry line. From you to me and my hand-picked crew, your questions about this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. Tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a first-generation Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II. This is the 16760, launched in 1983 and made briefly through 1987. This one has a 1987 serial number and it was one of the last of the line. A lot of firsts on this watch. The first ever Coke bezel. The first GMT Master II with true dual-time capability. The first regular production stainless steel GMT Master to feature a sapphire crystal as well as a lacquer dial with white gold hands and indices so a lot of firsts here also with the 100 meter case that had arrived on the reference 16750 so 100 meters water resistant and of course a chronometer now the watch is 40 millimeters that really hasn't changed in a long time for the GMT but pre super case and pre solid end link these did wear a little bit differently 12.4 millimeters thick in spite of its somewhat pejorative nickname. This is not a thick watch. 12.4 millimeters thick, 40 millimeters in diameter, and 47.7 millimeters from lug to lug with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch is on a roughly 1996 serial number, 78360 bracelet with 501B end links. So the bracelet itself is actually substantially newer than the watch, which is a wonderful thing because these hollow end link, hollow center link bracelets are best when fairly new. Now the timepiece features that Oyster design that is pretty much standard issue on the Rolex sports watches. Three links, staggered alignment, staggered size. You can see the flanks are polished. The removable links are fixed by screws. And on the underside, Rolex has always done this well. You can see that there's plenty of gapping to avoid pinching skin, pulling hair, or trapping wrist heat. Because the clasp is a little bit newer than the watch, by roughly nine years, there's a little packing tag that we use to ID these. You can see that the clasp retains outstanding definition of the five-point Rolex coronet externally. When that has a great deal of definition and depth to it, you know refinishing has been minimal. Internally, you can see it is a standard Rolex Oyster, and then it has several different steps where you can change the anchoring point of the bracelet using a strap tool. If you want to fine-tune without adding or removing links, this is the way you do it. The tolerances remain outstanding. Closes with a snick, opens with a snap. As you can see, the lugs themselves are quite full and even from side to side and end to end. This one has been sparsely and sympathetically refinished by professionals during its long lifetime. Condition externally is excellent. You can see the crown guard structure and the Rolex twin lock crown. And of course, that famous GMT Coke bezel, the black and the red. Spirit of Atlanta, if you're a local. Of course, you can see that the anodized aluminum insert gives the watch a very different look than the current day Cerachrome and has a little bit more of a glistening metallic gleam to it. Bi-directional, because of the addition of the true second time capability on this watch in 1983, the bezel, which had traditionally been used to calculate the second time zone, now allows you to temporarily calculate three time zones. You set your local time with the 12 hour hand, you set Greenwich Mean Time with the 24 hour hand. By the way, I'll demonstrate how those work independently independently, like so, and then you can use the GMT offset of your port or airport of destination with that bezel to temporarily find three time zones. Whatever you have set at center, Greenwich Mean Time, and then your arrival time zone using the bezel. Now as you can see, the watch is able to jump in both directions. As you cross the international date line, it will drive the date in either direction. The watch also features a hacking or stop seconds function. So if you pull the crown out all the way, you stop everything, and now you can see everything moves in sync with the 24-hour hand, red varnished, moving at half the speed of the Mercedes 12-hour hand. The dial is of high grade. I mentioned this was the first modern GMT Master in series production. Of course, the precious metal prior had featured sapphire, but the first steel one in general production to feature a sapphire crystal, as well as the white gold indices, hands, and lacquer dial. Those features designed to diminish the effects of tarnish and oxidation over time. The white gold is inert. It will not react. So you have the sapphire, you have the 100-meter case, you have the white gold dial, you have the dual-time capability, the chronometer certification. In almost every regard, this is a vintage Rolex watch that wears like a modern watch. And again, it's the first GMT Master Two. It's an historic piece. Inside, automatic winding, 45-hour power reserve, 27-joule Rolex manufactured caliber 3085. Beaten away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, adjusted in five positions with a free-sprung balance and a handmade Breguet overcoil hairspring. It is a certified COSC chronometer with that 12, 24-hour dual-time capability. 
Bidirectional winding with Teflon reversing wheels, you can scarcely hear or feel this watch winding. It has all of the toys, and again, wears just like a modern watch, albeit with the panache of a vintage piece. You can even see on the flank of the lugs some of the original factory beveling remains, and that is the ultimate imprimatur of time spent benevolently on the preservation of a watch. Father Time has smiled on this one. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the GMT Master 2. I want to note that this watch features Rolex service replacement dial featuring Super Luminova hands and dial base. This is a daily driver watch in outstanding condition with the functionality of the Luminova dial. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.